Okay, today I'm going to be going over how to build a keyword forecast or even a campaign forecast for any type of campaign that you're building. And the example that I'm going to be using today is just this pool website. So let's just say I want to find out how much it's going to cost me to run advertising for my pool services, repair, maintenance, cleaning, liner replacement, leak detection. So those types of services specifically in the state of South Carolina. So just let's just assume I'm targeting the entire state of South Carolina and I'm trying to get an idea of, okay, how much search volume is there? How much am I going to be spending for clicks? How much are these keywords going to cost me? And basically how much do I need to bid on some of these keywords as well? And we can put together a forecast to kind of figure out how many conversions we can drive. So let's come over here to the Google ads interface and we're going to go to the Google keyword planner. So go to tools. We're going to come over here to planning and we're going to go to the keyword planner. Okay. So over here in the keyword planner, we're going to click on discover new keywords. And this is where we want to start building our keyword list. And the way to do this is basically taking every single keyword that's relevant for your business and trying to put it into Google ads into the keyword planner and get an idea of how much our bids are going to cost and basically how much we need to spend on Google ads. So in the keyword planner, what you could do is start with a website and take your whole URL, copy it, paste it there, use the entire website and click on get results. The main thing is you just want to make sure that you have the right keywords that you're targeting in here. So we have nothing in the refined keywords. So let's remove that. And over here, you're going to start seeing some of these different keywords. Now, the thing is there's 1600 keyword ideas. This is probably way too many keywords for us to target really quickly. I've been using this tool for a couple of months, search Atlas and auto. So if you go to surfsideppccom slash auto, you can get a seven day free trial. It is my favorite SEO tool I've ever used. So a lot of times what I'll do is I will say add a filter and and I will say keyword text contains and we will do near me. So if I do near me, then I know that I am targeting a bunch of keywords with high search intent where people who are searching for pool repair service near me, pool leak detection services near me. I know those are who I want to target. The next thing that I'll do, and that brings us down to 196 keywords. The next thing I would do is come over here and we are going to remo remove the entire state or entire country of the United States and just add our one state of South Carolina here and click on include and click on save because this is where we know we're targeting. So now we have 196 keyword ideas and we have have more accurate search volume data. So if we look over here, these should all be pretty good keywords for us to target. And based on everything that's on my website, what you're seeing here in terms of overall search volume, obviously there's a huge peak when it comes to the summer here. So if you are running a campaign like this, then you need to kind of plan for, okay, in February, we're really going to start to ramp up our budget. So then by April, we basically have all the data we need. We have new clients already. We are starting to clean pools. We are starting to do maintenance on pools, whatever it may be. So ultimately what you're trying to do is build your client list. So if we scroll down here, what we could do if you want to make this a little bit easier is just select this is going to select 50. We could select all 196 keywords. Now, one of the things I usually do is just double check what are the most highest search volume keywords, because sometimes those can throw things off a little bit. So being pool indoor near me again, that's not something we want to target. So let's close this. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure you're finding keywords with the right search intent. So, so this new interface of the Google keyword planner does not come out great in videos because it only shows me a few keywords at a time. But swimming pool indoor near me, not something we want to target. Swimming pool inside near me, not something we want to target. These are people looking for a swimming pool. Maintenance, care, so free, we don't want to target. So this is where you may want to say, get rid of things like free. So we can add another filter and so we could say keyword text does not contain free. And we'll click on apply. That will remove those ones. The other one, let's see, swimming pool indoor inside. We could do the same thing. Keyword text does not contain. And what you can do is do it just like this. Add a bunch of keywords like this where you have, okay, we're going to put a comma here, free, indoor, inside. Get rid of some of these keywords. Keyword text contains near me. Maybe we'll also say service and we'll say services. So then we know people are actually looking for a service if we're seeing some of those keywords. Pool cleaning service, swimming pool service near me. So these should be pretty good keywords overall. Some of these are going to be very, very similar. So if you see a keyword in here where the average monthly searches and the top of page bid, the low range and the high range are exactly the same like this here, 480, 188, 1348. That means Google basically sees these as the same exact keyword. People just type these in separately. Google is like, this is the same exact search intent. So we are going to basically put these keywords together. So we may not get the best results doing this unless we remove some of these duplicates. I want to take a quick break from my video tutorial to tell you about my two free training videos. My first is my one, two, three, four, five Google ads training that will give you a process to be successful with Google ads. Go to surfsideppccom slash training to get access to that. The other one is going to be my from zero to five K per month roadmap. This is going to be an inbound marketing training. That's going to teach you how to drive more leads and grow your business. So you go to surfsideinbound.com and you can access that one. Let's get back to our tutorial. 
But overall here, these are a lot of keywords that I would want to target. Now, there's probably going to be a few things in here, like maybe branded keywords and things like that, that may throw things off a little bit. Swimming pool opening near me. So now we have another one we can target as a negative. That's fine. We, we should have enough keywords here. 338 keywords is, is actually a lot of keywords. But I would say you're if you really want to do a real forecast and you're really trying to, I would go through the process. And maybe I'll do this in a follow-up video. I want this video to be, you know, not, not any longer than uh, 15 minutes, basically. So um, this is kind of the quick way to do it but what you could do is you could basically say okay i want to target these specific services pick out some of the main keywords that you're going to target you can also import your keyword list so if you go back to the keyword planner over here we can do get search volume and forecast and basically import our entire keyword list here this is another way to do it and this is kind of my preferred way to do it so if i do a follow-up video i'll show this but basically you're just doing things like swimming pool service near me swimming and you can add all of these keywords and then you're going to get search volume and forecast for that keyword keyword list. So I do this pretty often if I'm working with clients who are looking for forecasts and data for how much things are going to cost. But generally what I'm doing here is we're just going to start with our website, use our entire website, get results, and then you're just trying to clean up the keyword list a little bit like we did. So I'm going to clean it up a little bit real quick and then I'll show you some of the filters I added. Okay, so we have a total of 336 keyword ideas, probably too many keyword ideas, but that's perfectly fine. So we're going to select all of these keyword ideas, all 336, and we're going to add these to our saved keywords and we're going to add these keywords to create a plan. So now what this is going to do is it's going to create a plan and you're going to see up here saved keywords. So if we click on saved keywords at the top, this will be all of our keywords that we saved so you could always go through here and try to clean this up a little bit obviously if I was targeting all these keywords I would try to find my main list of keywords that I'm targeting but for right now to see a forecast click on dismiss down here we can look at all saved keywords for which keywords the forecast if we click down here they don't allow us to select a campaign so that I will go over in a follow-up video so basically we're just trying to find our saved keywords here click on done Okay, now we come over here to our forecast, and one of the things I did is I switched from the match type from broad to exact. I would probably target phrase match keywords, so you can look at different match types and see how it's going to perform. I would say they're always going to make broad match keywords look the best, and that's not necessarily always the case. So I would generally look at the phrase or exact match type. A lot of times I look at the exact match type because I feel like it gives me a better idea of what I'm actually going to get out of this campaign. So let's just say, for example, we're forecasting all keywords. We're using the match maximize conversions bid strategy exact match type I switch this from United States to South Carolina so we're just targeting the state of South Carolina all languages Google and we're looking at a forecast for September so this data would probably look much better especially for swimming pool services earlier in the spring and summer when people are probably looking for more of these services by September I would say people are getting ready to be done with swimming so they probably already have their pool cleaner their maintenance whatever it might be so probably going to be a worse month than we'd see from, from previous months but you just have to keep that in mind when you actually factor in seasonality so what we're seeing here is it's saying if our conversion rate is 5%, our value per conversion is $50. Our plan will get five conversions for $1.1,000, so $1,100 with a $100 average daily budget. Basically saying that we're not even going to spend our full budget because we should spend $3,000. So if we switch this to United States, it'd probably be easily we spend $3,000. But it's going to say you are going to have trouble spending your full budget in September most likely based on search volume it's saying five conversions average cpa of 210 dollars conversion value so we would be negative on this if our conversion rate was five percent and our value per conversion is fifty dollars so that's just something to keep in mind 98 clicks for eleven hundred dollars so our cost per click is fairly high there not overly surprising so 966 impressions we scroll down you'll see the location here we keep coming down forecast over the next year so this is where you can kind of get a better idea of saying okay Okay, let's look at what our forecast would look like. So clearly there's a peak in May, June for all of these different types of keywords. Most searches done on mobile phones. So obviously it's we're going to be spending the majority of our budget on mobile phones. Need to make sure we have a mobile friendly website. The locations we're going to target. I don't know why Charlotte's in here, but that's perfectly fine. Probably part of South Carolina, their DMA region. So Greenville, Spartanburg, Charleston, Columbia, Augusta, Georgia. These are all probably DMAs that go into South Carolina slightly. So you can always change it to cities and get a better idea of like, okay, let's see what cities we're going to target. Don't even know some of these cities. 
and let's come up to the top and let's change and make our data a little bit better so we know we can get our conversion rate up to 12 percent we know our value per conversion is 75 dollars so let's just say every phone call every lead form comes out to about 75 thousand or 75 dollars which was 75 thousand so with our hundred dollar daily budget 1.1 thousand 12 conversions and it's basically saying okay we're we're gonna about break even on this so our average cpa is probably a little too high let's just look if we do phrase match keywords because that's what i would target and let's see how this changes changes our overall results. So results look much better. We actually spend our full budget with phrase match keywords, 49 conversions, $3,000, $100 average daily budget. We spend it in full for September. And if we were driving this conversion value, especially if you factor in some of the repeat business you can get as a pool service company, if you repair one pool that and you do it successfully, that person's going to call you back for basically any pool service they need if they're not doing it themselves. So we get a good idea of what we can expect from our campaign, 405 clicks, $3,000, 55 500 impressions so we have our click through right there not really showing us our cost per click i think it's cut off top cities so that makes more sense columbia charleston fort mill and let's come up to the top here so we have our idea of what our forecast would be if you look at broad match it's always going to look the best google wants you to target broad match keywords so with broad match it's saying we're going to be very very successful i don't imagine there would be that big of a jump from broad to phrase but i usually look at all three match types phrase is going to give you probably probably the most accurate results i'd say especially if that's what you're targeting so now we have our forecast so now it's time to build our campaign so hopefully this video is helpful with how to build a forecast if you want the easiest way to do this is go to the keyword planner take your keyword list that you've already built copy and paste it here click on get started that will create that plan with the saved keywords and a forecast and you can look at all that data the way we just did so thank you for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the surfside ppc youtube channel Thank you for watching. If you want access to all of my long form tutorials and some of my courses that I've created that I'm only putting out on Surfside Inbound, you can join my Patreon, patreon.com slash Surfside Inbound. It is only $4.99 per month. You can also join through my YouTube channel. So through the Surfside PPC YouTube channel from any of my videos, if you click on join, you will get instant access to all of my premium content, including my inbound marketing course, which is five and a half hours long. I just published it to Patreon and YouTube. So join today if you're interested in more of my content at patreon.com slash surfside inbound or by clicking the join button on any of my youtube videos thanks for watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe